one Mike Picot and the 99 John Stevens. And there we go, Rihimenen Urheilu Sukel Tayat against Boston Norwells. And from now on, I mean, uh, <laughs> Rixu. <laughs> oh my god, it's <laughs> <laughs> Rixu, all right. Yep. <laughs> and let me tell you the referees for this game. We have deck referee uh, from Denmark, Tommy. At the water, we're going to have uh, Kaiser from Sweden and Lars from Denmark. Yeah. You, you can try. Nice. Yeah, look, this is, was a challenge we had last year with, with Wolf. Rihimen Urheil Usukel Tayat. You can Rihimen say Urheil Usuk Tayat? Yeah, almost. <laughs> almost? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my finish is very bad. But, Rikzu, Rikzu. The, but the nice thing is that you have seen, you can see here, the Finnish team is playing with jerseys. You can see the name and the numbers. So we try. So if you want to to join us you can go on the official champions cup homepage. you can find there on uwr24.de there you can find a, a, a link uh, through the team list and there you can just click on the team list and you can just join us uh, in uh, checking the names and so boston got the ball first yeah so they got the ball but it's already in the in this crumble uh, in the yeah don't forget, these are the Champions the Cup. With the thing. Yeah, the Champions, Champions Cup winner is winner, playing here yeah. against a newcomer from Boston. I had the chance, fortunately, when I visited the USA in 2016 mm -hmm. to have uh, several practice with the Boston team. Um, it's quite nice to see how they've developed. You know, Philip Moon, for example, lived in, in Boston uh, for years. He's originally from Sweden, a very well experienced player. I think he's a former national player and trying to make it back to the national squad in, in Sweden. So um, he he developed the game a lot of Boston. You have uh, with the with the um, uh, Galeone brothers, two very well playing uh, original Colombians now living in the USA. You have seen uh, Thomas Galeano with the number two, who was the captain of the Colombian junior national team, um, which was winning the world championship last Sunday. So um, you have here very well experienced players combined with some newcomers with not a high background in underworld rugby but yep. what i did not know before is that boston was the first underworld rugby team in the usa uh, uh, okay and they started around almost in the 90s, 20 years uh, ago yeah. yeah in the 90s they 20 said or 30 years ago they they said that in in 75 they were like yeah. a the first uh, a diving club and then the 19th they started with yeah. underwater rugby what is a great history there and you have some some guys from Boston when I've been in the practice they're playing you know the classic goalkeeper style so there was just one guy sitting in front a very old one and but they were very fast hands you know and bring up the hand but now if we look here at the game you see that the that the game of Boston is very focused in forward checking they're trying to stop the Finnish team Rixo uh, before they have the chance to swim s towards the basket yeah you see the forward and checking is very aggressive yeah. You see here the number 12 trying from Rixu, trying to get in position here, trying to to do, um, yeah, to, to pick a bit um, and confusion in the defending part. But at least every time there comes a player, you know, you see their attackers and they're doing a very great job here. Let me see. They play earlier today the Bostons. I'm trying to remember again whom against Budetovic against Badwise and yep. they lost just 2 0. 2 0. And it was the first half, as I try to remember. So they, they received two quick goals, maybe? They, yeah, because the they were very half, fast. Yeah. They, they kind of uh, yeah. expected, knew what to, what to do. And now we have. Oh, a gap. All right, we now have they're stealing the basket. This is a very dangerous situation from 96. Maybe you have. Yeah. I don't know if you have them there. No, so Timo Hivone was stealing the basket and now number one is here maybe with the best chance of four but it was and not number cool. one, it was assisting the other one here, raising yeah. the hand. Yeah. Unfortunately we cannot see the number one, it was not number one, number one was like blocking the attack. Maybe we have the chance if he's going out of the water now. It's number it's nine. Is the nine uh, that's nine? The or a one? It could be. So maybe it is, probably it's number one, what is uh, Ferti Leinonen. Okay. So Ferti Leinonen makes you the first goal for Rixu against Bastard, and this is second. Oh, that's, uh, this was also Grady, number 13. Yeah. Tommy 
Zoom Malenin made here the second goal for Rixel. That was like that within seconds. Yeah, it was that fast. That fast. was a, a pity. mistake. Yep. Boston started quite well. They had a very well structured defense. But now after the game, receiving immediately the second one. Wow, this brings you out of the out of the rhythm. Yes, 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 yeah, and that's uh, th what happened. Free throw. Free throw for yeah. Boston. Holding with a ball apparently, yeah. and or or two rough play. I couldn't see exactly the the. the yeah. But that's a pity. Now we are playing almost just four minutes, mid, a bit less than four minutes, and they started quite well, and and Rix was a bit struggling and getting close to the basket. But the first chance they used or they had, they already used and and transformed into the first goal. Boston started with swimming, tried to get fast back in the game, but immediately they lost the ball and uh, received the empty net goal here. Pfft, yeah. Yeah, and that, that's, you know, it's still they have uh, th th the whole first and second half of the game, but it's just 2 0 in like within less than a minute. It's yeah. kind of uh, bring you out of tag. You need to be mentally very strong to be able to not, not let that. Um, uh, how you say uh, affect you? Oh, they're coming two against two, and yeah, they're on the close Phillip. corner. Oh, there's a was it the goalkeeper with the head in the basket? I'm not sure, but you see here Philip in the defending now, number six from Rixu stealing the basket is Yaro Lettinen. He's in a good position. The Rixu just probably needs to pass him the ball, but Boston is doing here a great effort, keeping the ball away from the basket. So. Boston so far, they're not doing a bad job. Unfortunately, they just got very two quick goals. There was just around maybe 20 seconds between two goals, what is or 30 seconds was very last time. So they need to try to organize themselves. There's a three throw for Rixo. They're rising up the pressure. Boston needs to take care about their basket because Rixo really have one player in the water who's nothing else doing than just <coughs> looking if you can steal defending or goalkeeper position so it's number 13 here we looking at the basket but two don't pairs of brothers in the Boston team yep. the Galeanos and the Picots yep. yep and we had a pair of brothers in the Finnish team but the also one well yeah the um, yeah, him, uh, yeah. um what's uh, no Humbug but Humbuck. the problem is the one is in the hospital right a uh, team no, is it well, the one but is not here, playing, but he was injured. Yeah. yeah, I heard he had an MMA fight or something yes, like that. And broke Never his wrote knee. an article Ouch. about it. He broke, yeah, he broke his knee or something. Oh, and the, and the 14. Number 14, just great. Four. Let's see, 14 is a Young Klo, Tauru Young Klo, right? Yeah, it's Yako Ta Tauru. Yeah, well, yeah, Yako I Tauru made a third goal for Rixu, almost alone. So he had the ball strong at his arm and he firstly pushed defender a bit away and immediately attacked the goalkeeper and had a yeah. made a they all are the way so through. good I mean a lot of these guys play yeah, in the Euroleague with very the very time, physical so, yep. you see here also that the players they were not even they were not even uh, tackled but even brought to the surface yep. so Rixo is a really good really good defending but we need to remember Rixo won last year the Champions Cup. Yes, so this yes, was and the best team last year we had yep. in entire in the entire world and we have very experienced uh, players that play also in the Euroleague on regular basis so this is uh, a team that is constantly playing internationally with very uh, high mm. standards against very high standard teams and uh, I don't think Boston have the same chance no. in the US right how many teams do we have in the US is anyone able to tell us and and how do you organize the league I mean with those teams yeah. okay we have one so still in the basket again oh That's right this is a very nice one and that was a goal number well 12 was stealing the basket I think number yeah. one was supporting and finally scoring the That's goal Benti Leinonen or something like this so yeah yeah Verti Leinonen made here the another goal for Rixu and I think Rixu is doing a uh, quite good job so they're very dominating so far I've not seen uh, g any chance uh, from Boston ap apparently there are four women in the Boston team we have yeah. four women in the Piranha team from ah, Spain right. as well so That's but very nice there's a few teams I believe the Italian yeah. oh this was a great pass here with the wow. so number 13 and one again what is four. Tommy Zumalan it he supported number 20. Unfortunately, it's not on the list. I don't know where number 20 comes from, but but this was a great support here. You know, it was a attack the defender and made a certain blind pass behind the back, which immediately received maybe it was number 18, Vatari Lindtunen, and he scored and made the final score 
here for the five oh, they're coming. That was a oh, no, great pass. First one number two. This is Pass Thomas Galeano, yeah, you're the captain of the junior Colombian team here, who had maybe who's very, very fast, very yeah. fast and also wow. experienced player for his 17 or maybe almost 18 years he's old. Yeah, he's very young. Yeah, yeah. he's very, very young one. But to be honest, I think it, I'm, I'm quite happy to see that Rixo is doing a good job because uh, to be honest, we had a lot of fun with the Rixo team in the last year when they won uh, the, the Champions Cup trophy for the male team. Uh, they traveled around with the with this cup and they, they let us participate in the traveling and the experience the cup is doing like he joined the, the Finnish league, he went for traveling or for some holidays. Uh, yeah, he slept in several beds. So to be honest, I had a lot of fun with this with this Rixu the Rixu guys kind of uh, celebrating their victory. Okay, that's all good. Let me see. I mean, uh, Joy Joe Jr. is telling us that USA has eight teams. Boston, East Heaven, New Jersey, New York, Washington, Washington yeah. Florida, San Francisco, and San Diego. So we probably have seen here another goal. Unfortunately, we have not seen it underwater. But I assume there was a goal for... I assume it was Did it's me or 12. you? So I'm not really sure, but if it was number 12, it is Yari Lettonen. And uh, there's a half-time break. I don't know if it was, no, it was because it's 6-0. So we have seen several goals right now from number one, Werti Lettonen. We have seen uh, a goal from, and an uh, assist from Tommy Summerlinen. We have seen uh, one, one goal from Jim Hombeck. And uh, yeah, Jaro Lettonen. With the number six also scored and um, yeah, so this is this is also quite nice to see that there's not one top scorer at the Rixu team, but uh, many players or several players are really able to make a goal here to go through even when two Boston players are defending. This is very dominating. At least for the top games, they need definitely assist. They need to assist and to work together to score. But um, it's 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 great to see that you have a very variable team. Uh, with a lot oh of scorers yeah. inside. Off there we go. <laughs> yeah, at that level, I mean, if you want to be uh, at that level, you need to be able, all of them, of course, you have ones that maybe are a little bit more successful or uh, like the secret weapon, but all of them are uh, able to attack, to defend, and to resolve situation. We've seen constantly. I mean, it's like having the same, it's like, it's like a clone of the same player, you know? Uh, great job by the Rixu guys. I mean, they're very strong, and Boston is, is doing a, a great job uh, thinking that again they are there. The same happened with Colombia, and they can. I mean, it's difficult for them to play against other countries, other nations, and so they need to do it little by little, little to get better. But they have a great start. I mean, this is really amazing that we have how many? Okay. Um, what do we have piranhas penny field but I'm confused no it's not th they're making this score for the next game but this is well that's a mistake so don't we are playing still that. Rixo against Boston so <laughs> maybe the our technique can change this soon but we are still in the halftime break so we have 30 seconds left in game 21 which is Rixo in blue against Boston in wide with a 6-0 lead by Rixo. Um, Boston started quite good in this game, so they could um, keep Rixo far away from the ba uh, from the basket by putting a lot of effort in the forechecking. Finally, when Rixo um, could um, ach achieve or arrive at the, at the basket, make it to making the all the way to the basket, it was always a dangerous situation. Oh. And there you have seen maybe the, the very... Jochen, I find it out and let me know, sorry, Thorsten. Jochen Schottmüller asks, or also other guests ask uh, when they can see the videos from mm -hmm. the games that uh, yeah. happened during the day. And I believe they're going to upload it, but I'm not sure if they're going to do it today or at the end of the championship. We're finding that out and let you know in a minute. And uh, that's wrong. It's not Piranhas Peñafiel with Fat yep. Uber. It is uh, Rixu against Boston. I'm going to tell the guys uh, in the studio that please change that. I'll be back in a second. Yeah. So we are still back in the game now. So please take uh, note this is Rixu playing, not Piranha playing. Piranha is the next game. So the, the titles are a bit wrong right now. But 
Nevertheless, we will see Rixo here coming and uh, starting also very, very focused here. So we had an assist from number seven supporting. Yeah, but it was not, not turning into a goal so far. We have here Boston keeping the ball, making a very nice effort uh, in defending. But this was also this was a great one. Unfortunately, I've not seen the number, but this player, maybe it was number 12, because he was coming up the surface, the latest. So if it was number 12, it was Jari Lettonen, who was stealing the basket first, received the pass by his teammate, and then he just pulled it in, in the empty goal where he was sitting on. So this was a very, very nice, uh, very nice move. Um, but this also shows the dominance of the Swedish, uh, of the Finnish team, because they... They made it to get in a, to get in ball possession even with one player lying at their own basket and lying on the opponent basket. And as we all know, there are just let's say four players left, and uh, they just got the goal and they brought the goal the same uh, at the at the opponent basket. And we have another one. This was too quick now for the cameras here. Changing another goal. Unfortunately, we cannot see who it was. There was number one close to the basket i don't know if he was giving the assist or scored but number one is also verti lennon who is to be honest often in the water when there is a goal situation so this is a number i've seen very very often giving assists or scoring himself so a very significant player by the rixu team at this game uh, i don't know if he's usually one of the top scorers but uh, in this game it's a good thing we see now here at the at the surface camera we see philip who is uh, outside of the water, he changed out, who is maybe probably one of the most experienced and strongest player. I don't know why Boston has given this game away now. So he's changed, he's going out, another player is going in. I hope he's not injured or anything like that, because this will be a big lose for the, uh, uh, a big handicap for the Boston team. But I know that Boston is coming here with, uh, with a full squad of 15 players. And of course, every one of them, they want to play. Maybe he thinks the game is over, 8-0, we cannot win it anymore. Maybe he takes a decision as a, one of the leaders. Okay, I can all go out myself too, uh, giving the spot and the place to someone else here. Um, have fun, play a bit, try to get maybe convinced a bit or a bit, bit familiar with the water, the ball, the game, and maybe the level. And uh, So far we have just seen uh, one-sided match. Even Boston is very putting a lot of effort in the forechecking. Rixo is really dominating this game here. And even you see here, even the passes are not very, very well done. So it's always quite often there's a Rixo player um, catching or, or, or touching the ball at almost every pass. And, and now they're getting ball possession again. Game's turning. Now we go on to Boston again. We have seen the Boston ball. He's now 96 here with the best chance now so far. And the last minute for uh, for Rixu and uh, great, but but Timo Hivenen could not score finally, but he made a very good move by by holding the goalkeeper's head and then making a move by pulling the goalkeeper at the same time and bringing their arm in the position to score. Uh, unfortunately, he could not score, so it not it not turned to a goal. It was also well defeated by the goalkeeper at least. He made a correct reaction. With five minutes left, three strong favor for Rixu. And uh, yeah. So we are all aware we have some people in the in the in the live stream asking about the oh there was another nice one. So it was unfortunately who's rising his hand? There's a timeout call from Boston, but I think it was again number twelve. And number four, I assume to see who are participated in this goal. So we have also again number 12, Jerry Lutonen in the water, who is also a significant player, who is also very often involved in goals or in very good goal situation. We have now Boston here, the captain of Boston with the number six, um, Pablo Ruiz. He's taking the time out now trying to wake up his team because um, they received now a lot of goals here with 30 seconds left and with a question from Jochen Schottmann who was asking about the last two hours yeah in the live stream 
actually you can just jump back for the last two hours but don't worry the games are recorded and, and I assume they will be published with the end of the live stream so we have a technical team here they're going to record the games as well and as soon as the day is over I, I heard that they're going to upload all the matches of the day so you will currently just see the last two hours but everything what happened before is not deleted don't worry for that um, so we have got the answer from Ro um, from Rolexi from uh, the New Jersey Hammerheads he told about that there are currently eight clubs and a couple of A and B teams uh, for ten teams in the USA so far and the ladies for the ladies clubs they have four teams in the latest competition with uh, A and B uh, for five teams so this is quite nice to see that the USA is developing quite well so that you have uh, as many several spots and there's another goal it was very very quick so that quick that we could not see who scored finally maybe we if we can switch the surface camera uh, unfortunately we cannot even see the surface camera so I cannot tell you anything about this goal but it was a 10-0 now it happened so quick that even the camera uh, was not changing fast enough. But here's now Boston starting a game. So every time you are receiving a goal, you get you are allowed to swim starting with the ball. And now there's Boston. The first time right now in the second half, they have, they are going on the opponent side, quite close to the basket. But now you see here Rixo. They are immediately going into a cluster. And now you see here two Finnish guys are leaving the basket now there are three players 15 number 15 is left and he lost against Tommy obviously his nickname you see now number 14 here trying to give the ball yeah so number 14 here from Rixu who is uh, Jaco uh, Tauru uh, assisted Timo Hilonen who scored now the 11-0 what is a quite high result so far yes but we need also need to consider as we see here uh, Boston has changed two players out this one is Philippe Mund who is who was a former Swedish national player and also tries to make it to the to the uh, world championship squad who's going to cross next year so he's a very well good playing defender and as we see here right now we have some some legs some open space in the defending position and of course Boston tries its best here but yeah Rix is very massive they have a very structured well structured attack and they're assisting each other a lot in every game almost in every score there are uh, two or even more players involved so this is a this looks like a very good team spirit they're having so far so now we see a, a referee ball what means the referee is allowed to pull or to to throw the ball in the water what we see see here and Rixo is uh, getting the ball here it was a uh, Rayo Ranamaki with the number eight who is now in ball possession and tries to find a good opportunity to pass we see here several players at the basket already in position so Rixo is here playing very dominant like here we have number one again Verti Lennonen who's trying to look for a hot spot who's, who's pulling the defender a bit away and immediately to yeah this was great you've seen again Verti Lennonen big respect for you guy because you're involved in so many goals here right now he started having the ball he pulled the defender away immediately two Finnish players um, jumped in the free spot in and then he passed the ball I could not see who finally scored because there were two Finnish players involved um, so one have uh, making the block, the other one was scoring, while Verti Lennonen made the, the, the big hard work by at least causing or curing the free spot by pulling the defender away and making the, the killer pass, you can say. So. Yes, yeah, so I know there's a free throw now for um there's a three throw now from the for the uh for the Boston team it's a uh, this one was not a three throw this was just dropping the ball this was not very well done and immediately occurred in a goal 
we could not even see who it was but unfortunately I see that there's a lot of players were swimming at the Boston basket so this is something and the game is over I don't know if it was a score or not the score shows 12-0 what is the final result now we played 12-0 in the game Rixio against the Boston team Boston started quite well in this game unfortunately uh, yeah they received a lot of a lot of pressure by the Rixio team they started very well by trying to keep them away from the basket by putting a lot of effort in the forechecking but the level the high level of Rixio to keeping the ball at the bottom to come in massive they they, they always uh, needed or they, they, they need more than two or almost one to two players to stop a Rixu players and you can do this once you can do this twice maybe you can even three times you can do this but then at least there comes a free spot because people are coming back to the surface and breathing going down and it's just on the other hand you have also the, the Rixu players you've seen situation when one Rixu player scored against two uh, Boston players you had the situation when they came with two or three players at the same time making very nice passes making very nice uh, pulled away the goalkeeper we're stealing the basket pulled away the defender stealing the defender position this was very very dominant yeah and maybe it was even a, a very good lesson for Boston which is which are yeah, here the first time in yeah, the history. Yeah, they they are working on the score. Something went wrong there. So yep. uh, in the next minute, hopefully, we have the right score. And uh, Jochen, uh, the play, the games are going to be up. Uh, it's going to take few days after the tournament. Even few you days. won't be able to watch it. Yep. Oh I really? mean, okay. actually, Bina said few weeks. Okay, <laughs> right. But he wants to split it, or is the entire video like uh, full Normally he split it. it normally oh, okay. he split it, but I don't know how he's going to do this year. So sorry, guys, not possible yeah, to okay, watch it. Uh, you need you need to be live. Uh, Maybe to record it to yourself. So Jochen, I'm sorry to, to give you the wrong wrong uh, answer. Maybe you can share this with your team. So probably there will not po no possibility to analyze if the game is older than two hours. So um, you need to record it by yourself, and um, what is also be possible, or yeah. All right. So let's see. What time is it? It's there. It's dark in such a long time that it feels like ten o'clock, but it's just seven thirty here in Germany, and uh, the ah, that was the finish. Well, will they I hopefully they'll tell us how scored, how was it? Um, I was 12-0. 12-0. 12-0, okay, yeah. perfect. Sorry, 7.30. Piranhas, uh, the girls against the Fatties, also the girls. Remember, we have 12 female teams, and the uh, um, Piranhas girls, uh, I mean, Spanish team is together with Singapore. And let me see, was the other one? They were playing earlier today a current parties I don't I don't find them I thought the girls had uh, yes Amager okay they have a uh, four group of three teams and so they are together with Amager from Denmark then the parties from Singapore and Piranhas from Spain España todos ahí <laughs> todos ahí presentes para apoyar a las chicas y uh, everyone in Singapore present to help the uh, the fan club of uh, Singapore. Let's see. Let me go and give you the Thorsten. Bye. There you go. <laughs> let me see. Let's go now um, on the women. We have. Let's see. Give me one second. Piranhas. Tenemos número uno, Carmen. Dos, Rocío. Tres, Irene. Cuatro, Carolina. Cinco, Andrea. Seis, Elena. Siete, Laura. Ocho, Sara. Nueve, Laura Vallejo. La otra, Laura Sambo. Diez, Luisa María. Once, Mariola. Doce, Elisa. Trece, Nagore. 14 Laura Vasquez y 15 Montserrat Navarro. And let's go with the Fatties and see uh, where are they? I passed them. Hold on. Here, here we are. Perfect. Uh, we have uh, number one, um, 
Nur, I apologize for the pronunciation. I give my best. Nurul Fatin, number three, Cheng Mia. Four, Rayen. Five, Alice. Six, Kaisa. Seven, Elena. Uh, ten, Genevieve. Eleven, Dong. Uh, Twelve, Annabelle. Fifteen, Hitomi. Nineteen, Michaela. And twenty-two, Jacqueline. Okay, so let's see. These girls have uh, played. I mean, the fatty.